Hi, this is Michael from DNA, and over the next few minutes, we're going to think about why you might want to use a text to speech program on your computer. So, as you might expect, text to speech programs read back text that appears on your screen. So, this can be useful for proofreading, especially. I've never met a student who says that they really enjoy the process of combing back over the 5,000 word essay they've just written, uh, but this can be especially frustrating for students with a specific learning difference, such as dyslexia. Although some of these experiences will be familiar to everyone, because when you're up against a deadline, it can be common to skip lines, skip words, order ideas incorrectly, and sometimes repeat yourself. Now, if the text is being read back to you at an even pace, you can give your eyes a rest or follow along as the words are highlighted and get a much better sense of whether the document you've written is close to completion or not. Now, you can also give this technique a go with your research, and that might include PDF files, web pages, or even books that you've scanned in. You might find the process of listening back to research material a much more effective way of embedding new information in your long-term memory than reading it from a book. If you've made a disabled student's allowance application in relation to a course that you're studying, you may well have either a program called Read and Write made by Text Help or a program called Claro Read. Now, as always, we are going to be looking at specific strategies for proofreading and listening for research purposes. And these strategies work with a variety of different programs. So it's really worth highlighting the fact that with text-to-speech programs, there are a number of open source or free options available as well. So if you haven't got Read and Write or Clara Read, it's worth having a look at the links that appear on the screen now and following the full detailed links that will appear in the main text of the video below.